So I realized I made a video about artist residencies and how much I wanted one a couple while ago, maybe a couple years now, and I've applied to a few since then, but I actually got one. So the first two weekends of April, I'll be in Lakeside, Michigan, a little south of Benton Harbor, St. Joe area, not too far off the Indiana border big Chicago area of people coming in for summer and I'm really excited I actually got one in the other video I was saying how I wanted an artist residency for other reasons but I didn't feel like it could be a goal because not all the factors were in my hands it's someone else's decision to award it so I thought it'd be a good follow-up of saying yeah I got one there's so many out there I feel like this one doesn't it's a smaller one, you know? It's not like a big Mackinac Island where there's super prestigious. It's uh, different levels of artist residencies. Whether that's a factor or not, I don't know. Maybe it's because they also have a lot more people they can accept into this program, which can make a big difference too. So I'll actually be doing the residency with two other ladies at the same time. There's a little apartment that they use and they just pack the artists in there. And I am so grateful for this opportunity. So hello, Lakeside Inn, if you're seeing this just for social media stuff, I'm excited and excited to looking forward to seeing you all. But as I was thinking about residencies, I want to know what I can provide my collectors and the people who watch and support me through all this what would i want to see an artist like give out like what i want to see a blog a vlog sales what kind of stuff would i want to see from my favorite artist whether i'm your favorite or up there i hope maybe someday so because also this is the first time I'm trying out a residency and not doing a day job at all for that time period. It, I don't want to say it's scary because there's a good foundation of artwork underneath it. So artists that are starting out, there's stuff we can do, right? So I'm actually going to try some exclusive art prints and art made just for people during the residency. And honestly, I'm not going to say much more about that. You can find out in the link below if you're wanting art. I don't want to be salesy because I can't sell my art harder. You know, if you're interested, you're going to look. And then if you're not, you're here to watch the video. And that's that's cool. That's, that's what I do. I'm not going to be salesy about that. But... I also have a bunch of things I'd love to do for the artist residency while I'm there. Like, do I blog every day? Can I talk to people and do social media every single day? And also be productive with what I want to do on the residency. And I realize there's so much we want to do as artists and it's hard to manage what time you actually have. We have a lot more to do than just that. It never gets done in the time we think it does. We can do so little in a day and so much in a month and that amazes me. So I realize I tend to overload with a lot of things, whether it's projects, um, shows, things I want to get done in a certain day and then get frustrated, of course, when you don't focus in those times or you have to do laundry or like, oh yeah, grocery shopping and eating is a thing. So. I want to set up a lot of things, but also have a lot of grace and patience and fun. I want to have enough room for wiggle room to play around with that while still giving you all or whoever's watching or whoever's following along to that, what I would want from an artist as well doing that stuff. So it's, it's a good balance of kind of production. And I think as artists, we can think about it as documentation rather than production. I think we, we tend to think in terms of production for sales and for finished paintings we can put on social media, like finished ones put on the website. But the story behind it and the way it got done, that documentation is also still very important. And we do really like seeing that. That's one of my favorite things to see on YouTube and the internet. It's not just finished pictures. There's a place for that. But they're saying a lot out there in the world, people, I'm sure, about the process of it and how it gets done. So that's why I still do some time-lapse videos because whoever gets that painting, that's a really unique thing that you can come back and watch on YouTube. And if there's anyone out there who can learn a process, having that 
able to pause and rewind and rewatch. It's a great way, whether it's virtual learning or other tutorials, having that accessibility and being able to do it in your own time is also very important. So I'll still be doing lots of those too. And I want to get back to doing some of those tutorials, but I thought I'd update just myself kind of just thinking out loud about, I've been thinking about residencies and I'm very excited to do my first one. There's so much I want to do and I want to know what co art collectors want from an artist and thinking about what I would want from an artist and seeing what they're doing. One of my favorite artists in residence, Dot Borsma, Dut Borsma. It's a Dutch name and I want to pronounce it in English. It does not work. She is one of my favorite people that I have seen do an artist residence and I like seeing what she's posted and gets out there. So I want to follow her example and she's an inspiration to me, which is also one reason I wanted to try residencies. So I don't know, this will be the first one. I don't want to say it's rusty because we're beginners. It's beginning steps. We're going to learn a lot. We, the royal we, me, learn an awful lot starting this up. So I'm excited. If you have any questions that I can answer while I do that, if there is a particular part of the process you want me to document, um, everyone loves those packing lists, quite frankly, and that's going to be really fun to do. I don't know how much I'll be able to document as I go because I want to have that freedom of relaxing and not producing, but also maybe I need it, you know, critique afterwards, see what works, what doesn't, and see what happens. So I thought I'd update you all on that, update myself, think out loud. I'd love your feedback or questions on if you're an artist and you don't know what they are or what is involved with the residency, I can hopefully answer some of those. If you're an art collector and you wonder why the heck artists do this and things like that, I'd love your questions and feedback if you've done one before and what you do next time. I definitely want that wisdom too. So thank you so much for following along and I'll see you later. There's more information to come.